Hey everyone, happy October. I'm so excited, I love Halloween. So I wanted to kick off the month by sharing a easy Halloween decoration with all of you. So we're going to be making this and the image is already made for you. So you can find that link in the description and you're going to need to print that off. So for this craft, you will need a computer and a printer. So when you go and you download the image, when you open it, it should open in some sort of photo viewer. From that photo viewer, you are going to want to print it. You don't need to put it in any other applications or copy and paste it anywhere else to do this. So from the photo viewer, you'll just click print. It should be somewhere up near the top or a little printer symbol. And then you'll need to change the printer settings. So we're going to be using a five by seven frame for this craft. So you're going to want to have your settings set at five by seven or four by six. And I'll show you the differences and how that looks at the end of the video. You're also going to need a picture frame. You can get these at the Dollar Tree. A spray bottle with water washable markers, a quart size Ziploc bag, scissors, a few paper towels, and I also used a plastic shopping bag to cover my workspace because we all know I'm a little bit messy. Well, once you've gathered all your supplies, let's get to it. So I have my image printed out and I already took out the paper that comes in the frame when you buy it. I'm going to use that paper to line up and make sure that when I cut this, it will fit in my frame. cut I'm going to take the washable markers that I want to use and my Ziploc bag I'm using a quart size for the 5 by 7 frame this is black I know it might look a little bit um, green I want a lot of black on mine with just a little bit of orange Okay, now I'll take my spray bottle. This just has water in it. Um, I'll just do a few sprays. And then this is going to probably drip. That's why I put down the plastic shopping bag. So I'm going to flip it over. And then I'll just rub it around to try to like blend it in. Then I can pick it up and I can blot off any excess. I'm going to go ahead and clean off my bag too so I don't make any more of a mess. All right, I think that looks pretty cool. Now let's try that again. I've cut out another image and this time I'm going to try it with orange and yellow. I'm still using the same bag. I just wiped it off with the paper towel. And I have just a little bit of yellow in here. All right. Again, spray my water. And flip. And then rub it in.
haven't gotten as much water down here, so I'm just going to move it a little bit. Push again. All right. Now I can blot. And I'll wipe my bag so that it's ready to go again. Those look very different, but I think that they both look very cool. So I let them dry for a little while and then I put them in the frames. I wanted to show you the difference that printer settings can make. Now with all of these, you should be printing directly from the image, which you can find um, in the description. And then you'll just change your printer settings. So the printer settings on this was five by seven. You can see that it's much larger and fuller in the frame. This one, I changed the printer settings to four by six. So it's a little bit smaller and more centered in the frame. It's all about what you like. You can play around with the printer settings if you want. I really hope you like this. I am thinking though, I really like this goal, but I might need something with the pumpkin. Hmm. What do you think? Should I create more images for this craft? Let me know in the comments. Well, until next time, bye for now.